we got Macintosh. Red Chuck Christmas apples. Red delicious. Something's a piece while they last. We... They won't last long the way you're eating them. Hey, I'm creating scarcity. Drives the prices up. <sighs> Rizzo. I... <coughs> Hello. Welcome to the Muppet Christmas Carol. I am here to tell the story. And I am here for the food. My name is Charles Dickens. And my name is Rizzo the Rat. Hey, wait a huh? second. You're not Charles Dickens. I am too. No, a blue furry Charles Dickens who hangs out with a rat. Absolutely. Charles Dickens was a 19th century novelist. A genius. Oh, you were too kind. Why should I believe you? Well, because I know the story of a Christmas carol like the back of my hand. Prove it. All right. Um, there's a little mole on my thumb. And, uh... A star on my wrist from when I fell off no, my bike. No, 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 no. Don't tell us your hand. Tell us the story. Oh! Well, well, pardon me? That's how the story begins, Rizzo. The Marleys were dead to begin with. Oh. Beginning, it's creepy and kind of woo, spooky. Oh, thank you, Rizzo. You're welcome, Mr. Dickens. In life, the Marleys had been business partners with a shrewd moneylender named Ebenezer Scrooge. Ooh. You will meet him as he comes around that corner. Where? There. When? Now. Say, is it getting cold around here? Whoa. Contained as solitary as an oyster. Whew, what an unpleasant fella. Mm. <sighs> he was a tight-fisted hand at the grindstone. Scro Boy, this really is a dirty city. <laughs> you telling me. Come <laughs> here. Hmm? Ah! Thank you for making me a part of this. Oh. I've been clutching. From, and that's the truth. Thank you. Tomorrow's Christmas, sir. Say that December is the foreclosure season. This is my island in the sun. At that moment, who should arrive at the door but Scrooge's nephew, Fred? His only living relative. Nephew Fred, I don't see him. Trust me. Hmm. Oh, hello? You're very good at that, Mr. Dickens. Quick, it'll be warmer in there. <laughs> Christmas at home, bugger. Actually, I think it's colder in here. Yeah. Merry Christmas. He's got him there, the old boy's speechless. With a steak of holly, he's always hot. Well, not quite speechless. Oh, I'm cold. Now, in these times, it was customary on Christmas Eve for well-meaning gentlemen to call upon businesses collecting donations for the poor and homeless. With their employer gone at last, Bob Cratchit and the bookkeepers immediately began that most pleasant of activities, the celebration of Christmas. No way! No, no way! No way! No way. No way. The building was a dismal heap of brick on a dark street. Now, once again, I must ask you to remember that the Marleys were dead and decaying in their graves. Yuck! That one thing you must remember, or nothing that follows will seem wondrous. Um, why are you whispering? It's for dramatic emphasis. Oh. Shh. startled would be untrue. Still, the moment had passed, and the world was as it should be. He ain't right. Didn't even break his concentration. Hmm? Nothing. Oh. In a minute, I have a little bag of jelly beans over here. <laughs> All right. is doing. We're down here and he's up there. I keep telling you, storytellers are omniscient. I know everything. <laughs> Hoity toity, Mr. Godlike Smarty Pants. To conduct a proper search, Scrooge was forced to light the lamps. How does he do that? In his room. Whoa, that's scary stuff. Hey, should we be worried about the kids in the audience? No, it's all right. This is culture. Oh. 
Oh, uh, Jelly Bean? Uh, I had him in my pocket all along. <sighs> what? But I really hate this. You wanted to know what was happening. Now Scrooge's bed chamber is on this side of the house. Oh, jump. There's only two things in this life I hate. Heights. God save my little broken body. Oh. 
Get out of the way. Hey, 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 don't be sweeping the chimney now. You're blocking the smell. Oh, that smells wonderful. Oh, oh at least I landed on something soft. And hot. chimney and landed on a flaming hot goose you have all the fun yeah. what oh. One. nothing scrooge could do or say could stop Four. the relentless march of those terrible bells Five. Oh, this is too scary i don't think i want to see any more no when you're right you're right you're on your own folks we'll meet you at the finale yeah oh. um, we promised we would be. But the thing that made Scrooge happiest of all was that his life lay before him. And it could be changed. I do. I, I'm as light as a feather. I'm as happy as an angel. I'm, I'm as merry as a schoolboy. Um, do you think it's safe for us to be up here? Scrooge is safe. What can happen now? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that is, uh, what? Me, sir? What's today? Oh, the boy was off like a shot. So even... Ah! And a few moments later, dressed in his finest, Scrooge appeared on the streets of the city to wish Merry Christmas to all the world. Merry Christmas. 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 <laughs> uh, gee, thanks. <laughs> Everyone was out and about this fine morning, and soon he encountered two familiar faces. With an open smile and with open doors, I will bid you welcome. What is mine is yours. With a glass raised to toast your health. With a glass raised to toast your health. And a promise to share the wealth. Promise to share the wealth. I will sail a friendly course. File a friendly charm. I'll see you.